What's up, Joe? What's up, everybody? This is Jeff Fennell with a Sports 360 Quick Take. My man Rob Duran is chilling today, but yesterday he passed along a story to me that may not get that much attention, but it should. It's a story that comes from the world of baseball that sheds a light on one of the game's dirty little secrets. It was recently reported that two teenage Dominican baseball players are suing the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, alleging that the team reneged on verbal agreements to sign them to professional baseball contracts. Under baseball's international entry system, players are not allowed to sign contracts until they are 16 years old. That's the rule. The reality is that for years, clubs have reached pre-acuerdos or pre-agreements with kids as young as 12 years old. These pre-agreements are verbal agreements that the clubs routinely pursue. How do they do it? Well, under the current system, each club has a certain amount of bonus pool money each year. Clubs know years in advance how much money they will have in a given year. So although the rules, under the rules, the clubs cannot sign a player until he's 16, clubs make pre-deals with players who are 12, 13, or 14 years old, promising them bonuses out of pool money that the club will have two, three, or four years down the line. What often happens, though, is if that young kid does not develop in the intervening years as the club hoped, or if better prospects come along, then when the kid who had a pre-deal reaches the age of 16, the club may offer him a significantly lower bonus than what was promised. In some cases, the club may even pull back on the agreement altogether, as the two players suing the Angels in a Dominican court have alleged. In that current court case, one player was 14 and the other was 15 years old when they reached their alleged pre-deals with the Angels. This practice has been going on for years. It's high time that it is not only exposed, but hopefully brought to an end. If the Dominican court rules that these pre-deals are enforceable agreements, teams will begin thinking twice about the shell game they've been playing and just wait until the kid is 16 years old before looking to enter into an agreement with him. In other words, clubs may just decide to follow the rules under the CBA. Imagine that. Understand that these pre-deals have sorted side effects. First, as I mentioned, they're against the rules. Second, they deliberately exploit kids and their families. Third, kids are often pulled out of school at 10 or 11 years old and put into the hands of buscones or trainers in hopes of getting a pre-deal. Fourth, these trainers often inject the kids with performance-enhancing drugs to increase the chances of the kid landing on the radar of major league teams. Five, loan sharks offer loans to families of kids with pre-deals at extremely high interest rates. When the money comes in, the family not only has to pay the loan shark, but also has to pay the buscon, whose take may be as high as 50% of the kid's bonus. In the end, there might not even be any money left for the player. Now, of course, if the team pulls the deal and no money comes in, or if the kid gets less than what was promised, then the family is left with finding a way to deal with the loan shark. A practice even remotely resembling pre-deals would never be countenanced in this country yet it has been a long-standing practice in the Dominican, a practice initiated by major league clubs and one that would go away today 
if the clubs would simply follow the rules. Instead, baseball has gone on a crusade in the Dominican Republic and here in the United States, proclaiming that the cure for their club's misconduct is an international draft. Do you believe that? Baseball is saying they need a more restrictive signing system because the free market system currently in place doesn't work due to their own club's poor ethics and lack of morals. Folks in this industry have known about baseball's sordid practice of pre-deals for years. Now, the dirty little secret is out. Thanks to two kids in the Dominican with the courage to stand up to a cohort of men who always knew better but somehow refuse to find a way to be better. That's it for me. The brother's out this piece. Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you on the other side. Sports 360.